Hi guys, it's Sasa Kaptus. Okay, this video is going to be finished project for the product. Okay, guys, so this is I call Chipboard Fans album. So, um, I love this album, it's so cute. Anyway, I use the paper pad from Graphic 45, let's start off with 8x8 paper pad. This album is a little bit bigger than Chipboard, it's about Eight by a quarter, so that's perfect for me. That I want to do like a border like that, guy. You can see that. So on the edge is the border. I paint this in white acrylic paint, and I cut the fun page. You know, you can see the fence right there. I did. I hear the paper, and then I use my craft knife. This one to cut to the you know the gate there, the fence there. I love it. And this I use my wood sentiment, the love story, and I use the I am roses flower there and the flower there. And this is my mini uh, sing pound wing. I did cut it in half and tuck both sides. So it looks like the flower have the wings there. And I use my wood leaf there and the flower here. And this one is my favorite trim ever. So this is came like this, but I cut it, you guys can see that. So I cut along the line there, if you guys can see what I mean. So when you get it, you cut it like this. If you want to use a small like me, you'll cut it like that. And this is how I did my dog guys. And you can see that. See, so this one you just straight it out. It was straight up, guys. So that is how I did. I did love it, guys, because it's a uh, ruffle and really tiny, perfect there. At first, you know what? I didn't use the ring to buy it, but I changed my mind. I used the paper. So on here, you can see, I use a. A cover on the back of the paper pad. It came like this. This is a back the cover too. See that? Same thing inside. I buy. I think I find it is a sturdier than just a regular cardstock when you do the binding. So keep your all the backing of the paper like this. So see how thick that is. Thicker than the your custard so this is really good to do uh for your you know the biting so i love this but this one i already painted i used all the paint and now i know i will keep those to to make the biting so yeah and it depends on how why you want this to be so it is my the gap between this it my by Five and egg, five egg inch, guys. So that <clears throat> I usually just use the uh, the white part, and then I cover it later with the with the paper, the uh, cotton paper. On this one, on the after I put that one right there, the binding connect each page. I have the chipboard, so because you want this one straight straight. So I cut the shipboard a bit here and then I cut my a back back cover paper pad to cover here. Isn't that so neat? I love this guy. And I paint all this with white acrylic paint. You can see. And for the crochet I use the Velcro. But this one is again I use the cover paper. I tuck underneath this. And I use my trim here to cover on both sides. When you open it, let me show you what it look like on the top part. You can see, see that. It's kind of chunky, but not too chunky to me. So when you open it up, I show you guys this paper. I cut the this is a die cut from the paper. I cut it, and I use my jar tags. You can see, 
I cover with the paper both sides and I paint this with acrylic paint it may from brush and I use my sentiments of joy and wood leaves and the flower right there <coughs> so on this one I'm going to tell you guys this one is a coincidence guys that after I cut this let me show you right this is the paper because this one is kind of like perfect for the border what I did is what I light this one up to make a border one egg inch right so I mark my where that I want to cut one egg inch there both side and then I press this one on the top here light them up and I thread it and then I cut it off for the back piece and the one lap over is this piece so when I press this one it's quite like a pocket I was like wow that's it perfect that's how I make this guy so when you create something is something that um like uh go into a uh, place it's just a uh, concern guys yes I love it that how I create all my pages with this pocket the left over one page but when you cut this you have to be careful because it's a upside down if you, this one barely see the word if you not pay attention to it that it upside down it's okay and for this one see that's the pocket my jar tag right there and I use my lima bird the arrow sentiment and flower right there and for the next page again I have my birdhouse and the uh, mini birds and forever and this flower and my jar tag right there for this page again I have flower my flourish and sentiment and my jar tag again for this page I use my lips wood and so it love and you know and I kind of want to use the scrap paper so I tear it put the scrap paper up there and I tear it up and light up this dress right there so you get the look and this one is just uh, die cut from the paper and for this here's again wonderful and flower and my jar tag and die cut paper it is really simple guys but I do love it how it turned out guys especially for my pocket oh this one fall off thing for me I saw again my jar tag and I used the scrap paper and it stood right up there and that's so cool and again the die cut paper this is a hard from the steampunk wing there I cut chop in half and la put the both sides tucking there and use sentiment there and this one I used the wood wing I did not cut guy I just shoot the paper on the center on the heart and the sentiment creates his memories and I used again my jaw tag right there that's it guys it's really easy and simple and this on the back what do you like it's chunky but it's not way too chunky I did love this this is really sturdy though know, guys look at it because I used I think it's the sturdy because I used the uh, the cover paper pad to buy my biting and the cover here I think it's perfect guys okay that's it guys thank you everyone for keep watching and we'll see you guys next video bye bye guys